X-Men Blue number 20 by Cullen Bunn and R.B. Silva. Charles Xavier's son from the future explains to the original X-Men that when they left the past, they created a void. This new brotherhood went back to fill it, kidnapping the original Xavier and subduing him. Bloodstorm dissipates and attacks Zorn before she can respond and when Jean threatens the rest, they attack. They battle and Magneto tells them that he was surprised by their viciousness. Meanwhile, Jean goes on a mission to find the real professor. Though weak, he calls out to her. She finds him and she's overwhelmed by their reunion. Back at the fight, Beast signals to the other future X-Men they met on their journey and in an instant, the teams from the dystopian timelines are there to get their revenge. The teams from 2099, Generation X, and even Emma Frost get their chance. The new Charles realizes he's outnumbered and teleports away, in turn fading the other future X-Men from existence. And even though some damage to the timeline appears irreversible, the original five students enjoy briefly seeing their old teacher. Xavier explains that when they return to their original time, it has to be at the exact moment they left, and he sends them back. When they return to the present, Magneto appears to have no knowledge of sending them into the past. One thing is clear though, they will have to go back to their original timeline at some point. Magneto asks about what happened to this newer brotherhood, and the issue wraps with an answer. The Magneto of the past hovers through the timeline, seeing his past and future before eventually finding Charles' son. When he finds them, Charles asks if he's seeking them out to remind him of his purpose. He tells them no and insinuates that he's been searching for them to basically take them out before they can go back again. What happens next? We're forced to speculate as this story arc comes to an end. You know, when I was originally introduced to the original five time-displaced X-Men, it was in a replacement series for Uncanny and penned by the one and only Brian Michael Bendis. Later relaunching Uncanny in one of their many, many confusing subsequent volumes, I stuck with it for a while. It was an interesting premise overall and well written. X-Men Blue in comparison to this book's sister series looks like a masterpiece while X-Men Gold continues to languish. Though we know these characters will indeed one day return, it just reiterates more to enjoy them while we have them here. I give this one a 10 out of 10. If you like this video, there's hundreds more like it, spinning several current and classic story arcs. Click the boxes here for more playlists. This video is also accompanied by my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.com. You can also follow links to my Facebook or Twitter pages, as well as a link to this very issue for sale on my eBay page by clicking below. For the Nerdiest Kid You Know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.